All right, guys and girls, this is going to be a quick one. I got the Axon 7 Mini today, and that's going to retail at a pretty awesome $299. So let's see if this thing is any good. All right, first impressions aren't bad at all. The Axon 7 is a great phone and it's gone down super well, and rightly so. So this sees very little design change. It has the same metal construction and design elements found on the bigger brother, but I don't really see why it's called a mini. I mean, the screen is literally 0.3 inches smaller at 5.2 inches. It's AMOLED, runs at 1080p, which isn't an issue at all. However, there is a bigger shift in color when viewed off axis. Overall, it's not that different at all from the Axon 7, which in itself is amazing. But man, let me tell you, is it slippery. I've had it for about eight hours now, and there's dings and scuffs already. So make sure you get something on it. All right, so I've been playing around with the software just a bit more to give it some extra time. But you know what? It's the same story as the Axon 7. The performance is good. It has the same Snapdragon 617 and three gigs of RAM as the Idol 4, which on that runs great here. It performs well, but just doesn't feel as snappy. And that's down to the software. It's not the worst, but there's just too many subpar skins going around that give Android a bad name. Day three, and I have to say, it's not a bad little phone. Now, over the past few days, I've been listening to music nonstop. So the mini contains the same audio chipset as its bigger brother, and that's to say, excellent audio. My personal niggle still remain. I think it sounds a little harsh when you pump up the volume, but has a top level performance for those looking for it. I mean, for the price, it could even make a pretty good dedicated audio player. Now on the camera, it's okay. It's now a 16 megapixel sensor and drops the OIS. I'd compare it to other mid-range devices, and that's to say it'll capture your scenes well, but if you're looking for a great shooter, this isn't the phone for you. What is nice though is the video recording. Sure, it's only 1080p, but contains stereo microphones, making it a great tool for recording conversations, soundscapes, interviews, you name it. <laughs> All right, so this really isn't a mini. It has a few niggles here and there, but overall it's a great option for those considering as it's $100 cheaper and it comes with the audio chipset of the Axon 7. So what do you think? Is this even worth considering? And as a little thank you, I'm going to be giving it away. So just leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed. Sorry about the scuffs. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy and I'll see you soon.